Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Davina and I film cash saving videos and budgeting videos sometimes. For today's video, I am gonna go ahead and be switching out my old binders and envelopes for new ones. Um, if you don't know why, um, I'll go ahead and link my video, my previous video in here, but my nephew came over and he just peeled off like a lot of the little <laughs> stickers from my envelopes. So I chose it would be a great time to just go ahead and switch them out. I was waiting to film this in late December, but you know, he kind of forced me to like uh, switch them out sooner. So that's what we'll be doing today. If you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. Also leave a like and a comment. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the video. All right, guys, so these are my old binders. Um, I did, again, intend to film this video at a later time, but we're here now. I also wanted to make it like a Q&A while I like switch everything out, but I didn't prep for this so we're just going to go ahead and answer like the frequently asked questions that people ask budgeters on YouTube I guess. So first off, this is my new build binder. I love it so much. I've seen plenty of YouTubers um, or YouTube budgeters use this and I actually really, really like it. So this will be my new bill binder and these are my new bill envelopes. I did go ahead and create these um, myself. So I'm excited, not really because I hate paying bills. But um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and swap over the envelopes and if the envelope has any bills, we'll swap over the bills as well and so on and so forth. So the biggest change we have is rent. I am gonna have to start paying rent in um, January. And also um, all of the envelopes that you see here will be available in my shop. I did create all the envelopes that you'll see today. These ones are cute. They're like a little, um, they're peekaboo and they have a clear back. So car, we'll go ahead and put in the money. I'm not gonna count the money. I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff it because yeah, that'll just take forever. But anyways, let's go ahead and I'll answer like the frequently asked questions. So, the question that I see the most asked is um, how everyone got into budgeting or whatever, or why people got into budgeting. Oh, this is wrong. This is Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, but anyways, I the most budgeting that I have done is I would just get my paycheck and I would like write it down on a paper. And then I would see how much money I need to cover my bills and then um, see how much money I had left over and usually with the money that I had left over I would just like spend it and like spend it on like stupid like I would pay my bills and then I'd spend my money on like things that I didn't really even need um, so yeah, um, I was also living paycheck to paycheck like most people are. All right, so this is my bill binder. Again, here is rent, car, phone, Wi-Fi, subscriptions, and credit cards. Um, I did have zipper envelopes, um, but I did go ahead and switch to laminated because I am going to be emptying these out every month, so... Look how cute. Oh, this looks so adorable. That is the first binder. These are the envelopes that I created. I've been wanting envelopes like this 
for the longest time and I searched high and low on Etsy and I could never find anyone to make them like this. So I decided to make them on my own. And the categories we have, my son Emmanuel, my son Samuel, my daughter Kaylee. Um, we have my envelope, we have family, we have birthdays, school, back to school, and vacation. I'm missing one, here it is. And we have holidays. So holiday includes um, Christmas and any other holidays like Thanksgiving or um, 4th of July, like whatever holidays we celebrate, you know? Also, look at these cute little trackers. <gasps> I purchased the template um, from Broke Boy Budgets and then I just made them into this transparent tracker which I think is really really cool um so yeah let's go ahead and switch everything out and I'll continue my budgeting oh wait <clears throat> this is a binder it's just a clear binder I added this little black um poof to it and then I also have this Q planner dashboard oh it's red metallic red which is my favorite color and if you don't know, I am a huge anime fan. I love anime and I wanted like to include anime in my channel, but like make it cute, you know? And this is it, man. This is it. Kotsky. Yeah. We'll put that there. Okay. So anyways, let's go ahead and get my other binder and start swapping money. So anyways, I was living um, paycheck to paycheck and um, co then COVID happened and I had exhausted all of my savings and I had like no money left because I wasn't working um, when COVID happened and I had exhausted all of my savings and um, yeah, so when it came down to budgeting, I was on YouTube and I was like searching how to um, make money like online or you know something like that and then I got recommended a video um, by none other than Taylor Budgets. She was the first cash stuffing video, that was the first cash stuffing video I've ever seen was from Taylor Budgets. And like, I remember watching this and I was like, oh my God, it, that's so cool. And then after Taylor's video, I found um, Carla May. And after watching her video, I was like, oh my God, like this is so cool. Like I can totally do this. Like this is, it just opened my eyes to a new way of budgeting and saving money. And I started binge watching the videos. I found them in like late April so throughout all of May um, I just watched a ton of people's videos I found like Brianna Life and Budgets um, Pink X Budgets all my fro budgets or baddies and budgets I found like so many great people and I was like okay you know what I am gonna do this um, so I also wanted to do it because I wanted to hold myself accountable for like my finances again Like if it wasn't for YouTube all of this money would probably be gone because I would just take it and probably spend it but I want I wanted to film it so I can be held accountable for my finances and stuff like that and You know and it's been going good so far, you know, I have had to dip into my sinking funds um, a bit but it's cool now, you know, I'm still getting like the hang of everything um, and my income has been very variable. So it hasn't been like a steady income so I often have to like change it. I have been wanting to do like um, budget with me's. I'm just gonna switch binders because my family and stuff one is over here. 
I have been wanting to film budget with me's and I have filmed them before but again because my income is so variable it's just hard for me to do it um so yeah I haven't really got my finances down like all the way and I am starting a new job anyways next week so I just want to go ahead and get my hands or I want to go ahead and get my finances down and when I actually started this it was just like a way for me I didn't go like all out I wanted to go ahead and just test the waters first to see if I actually liked this this system and honestly I really really do so this is something that I am gonna stick with and yeah um, so yeah, that's basically like my little story on how I got started and how I um, how I found out about budgeting it was basically because YouTube recommended Taylor's video to me and then it recommended Carla May's video and then from Carla May I found Brianna Life and Budgets and then I found Pink X Budgets and then I found um, Oh My Fro Budgets and yeah those have basically all of them have inspired me to go ahead and create my own channel and I did and I'm so happy that I have done it because this system is just amazing honestly. But yes, that's how I got into budgeting. Um, I really didn't budget much before. Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> um, next question I am going to ask myself is, and it's really what I ask other people too, is what is your financial goals for 2022? Um, for me, my goal is to just save money um yeah from someone who doesn't i don't come from money and my family doesn't have money and we grew up struggling um when i was younger like even my family has lived paycheck to paycheck and you know money was short and stuff like that <clears throat> i basically just want to go ahead and save money and not have to you know like panic like for example back to school I always panic when back to school comes because I'm just like oh my god am I gonna have enough money to buy them everything they need for school or if Christmas comes I'm like oh my god am I gonna have enough money for Christmas so I just want to go ahead and save as much money as I can also pay my bills on time I know sometimes you know like I'll like this is before budgeting but I would go ahead and just like spend my money and then be like okay it's it's alright it's okay if I pay my bills you know like a week later like a couple days later you know if I got if my bill was due like on the 20th and my paycheck was gonna hit on like the 23rd I would just spend the money and be like it's okay I can cover it with my next paycheck and I, that's something I don't you know want to do <laughs> I want to know where my money is and where it's going and when it's going there and why it's going there. Um, so this is it for this binder. This is, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to call these binders because, I don't know, this is just binder number two. <laughs> Alright, the next binder and envelopes that I have, oh shoot, they fell. Um, this is another cute little planner dashboard that I made. It's also red. If you didn't know, red is my favorite color. Look at that. It's open to make sure. <laughs> and again, I have this binder here. <clears throat> I do plan on putting like something behind this um, because it is transparent, but all in good time. So these are the other envelopes that I have. We have savings we have emergency um there's medical and beauty and car maintenance we also have new car home and oh shit oh shit so let's go ahead and get into stuffing um so i did change the order of 
where everything is to make more sense. So if you see me swapping binders, like, you know, it's all part of the process. But anyways, um, back to the question. For 2022, I do plan on also starting saving challenges. Um, I haven't been too, I haven't done savings challenges this year um, or yet because I just feel that my finances aren't in a great spot for me to start savings challenges and I don't wanna start something um, and then, how do I say it, like, I don't want to start some start something knowing that I won't be able to finish it and then let myself down when I don't finish it. Like, I know I'll get super excited to start a challenge and I'll be like, yes, yes, yes. And then, you know, towards the, you know, continuing, I'll just be like, oh, I can't do this. And I'll get let down and I'll just disappoint myself. And I just don't want to do that. Um, so... Yeah, no savings challenges yet, but I do want to start one in the new year. I want to start the 100 envelope challenge and not the traditional challenge that goes 1 through 100. I created my own challenge um, that makes sense to me financially. And at the end of stuffing all the boxes, I save $2,000. That for me is great. Um, because each envelope would be labeled like ten, fifteen dollars, you know, things like that. <clears throat> nothing too over the board or too expensive. Nothing that'll break my budget, you know. <laughs> but I do plan on starting my 100 envelope challenge box. I also will be starting a 52 week challenge that I created. Um, those are my, my little envelopes. Where are they? Oh my god. Let me go get it really quick. So This is my 52 week challenge that I created. Um, I do sell these. This one has black rhinestones um, This will be available in my shop soon, but this is a challenge that I currently sell. It's currently on my Etsy um, This is a 52 week challenge and at the end of Completing this, the amount saved equals to $2,500. And what I like about it is the amounts aren't as big. You know, like there's $25. The most expensive one is $100 and that's a bonus. Like you don't have to fill that out if you don't want to. But there's like $75, $65, $55, $45 and as low as $25. And I think this is so reasonable for a lot of people, especially people with lower budgets like myself um so yeah this is one that i will be starting next year too and i just want to go ahead and save up for vacation um i want to go take my kids to japan um usually with um vacations we just go to like california <clears throat> and not saying that California is boring but like we've seen California like so many times and we just want to try something new and again like we're all obsessed with anime and I just think it'll be so cool to go visit visit go <laughs> visit Japan so the money with that I save with my 52 week challenge and the money I save with my um, 100 envelope challenge box all that money will be going towards um, it will be going towards vacation savings which I think is great also I do want to save money for my children again like my family and I we didn't come from money so being able to save money for my kids is just great I know I it's I know I'm getting like a late start because my kids, my boys, are older. They are teenagers already. Um, but oh, I should have put the money in there. <laughs> but I know it's a little bit late, but every dollar counts, honestly. Um, and even when they turn 18, I am still gonna help. My goal is to help them financially and things like that. If they need something, I'll be here for them. Um, 
But yeah, just saving up for my kids is a big goal that I want to do as well. Um, so yeah, I don't really plan on getting a house just yet. Um, just because I feel that like my finances aren't really in check yet. So a big one is just getting my finances in check, um, knowing where my money is going, um, things like that. All right, and then we have this envelope here. It says, oh shit. It says, oh shit, isn't it? Um, I have seen a lot of people have an oh shiznit um, envelope and I think it's so cool and I made it and I showed my sister and she's like why oh shiznit and I'm like it's for those times where you're just like oh shiznit I need money and she's like oh my god that's so smart and I was like I know <laughs> but yes we have this um, this would be just like a little miscellaneous fund here you know all right, this is the second binder. Look at that, it's so cute. Yes, I love it. So see when I close it, like you can still see the money kind of a little bit. I don't want that. So I am gonna put probably, I don't know, I'm gonna put something behind here so the dashboard can stand out more and you don't see the money. Yeah, but this is the, like how cute, oh my gosh. It gets me so excited, honestly. I just want to film a cash stuffing, even though I just filmed one. <laughs> All right, my last binder, let me get it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get the last binder. This is actually an old binder that I had. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and reuse this one. So I do have another planner dashboard that I just think is so freaking stinking cute. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the red, but the letters are in red. I know my lighting is horrible, but look how beautiful this is. I love it so much. I'm not really into like animal print, but I was fudging around on Cricut and I made this and I was like, yo, this is so cute. I have to put it in somewhere. So yeah, it says adulting, because this binder is kind of like my adulting binder. All right, so the envelopes that we have is invest. I wanna go, I wanna start investing, man. I, I do um, have some investments. Um, they're not big or whatever, but you know, I'm getting my toes into their retirement. Yes, I wanna start planning for retirement. We have rollover, so anything that is left over from my weekly cash envelopes will go ahead and be put into this one. Next, taxes. You know, let me just go ahead and put them in first. Okay, investments. We'll go in here. Retirement. Here. And rollover. Okay. <clears throat> Next, taxes. So I do have an Etsy shop. Again, all of the envelopes that you see here will be available on my Etsy, even the planner dashboards. Um, but taxes, again, yes, this will be for any Etsy taxes. And hopefully soon, by the new year, I can hopefully, hopefully be monetized um, and start earning some YouTube income. Um, so yeah, this is where any taxes would go, which is depressing, but okay. Next we have Etsy. So I do have a shop and right now I don't have an envelope for Etsy. Um, so usually what I will do is when I get paid um, by Etsy, I have it. You In Etsy you can set up when you want to be paid, like if it's every week, um, I think every day, every week, every two weeks and every month. Um, so usually when I get my weekly check from Etsy, I'll just look to see if I need anything and then buy it like that. Um, but I do want to go ahead and have an envelope and every time I get paid, you know, set aside money for my shop if I need any materials and things like that. So. That goes there. Okay, so these are just little challenges 
Um, am I gonna do them? I don't know yet. Again, I don't wanna like go full head on with these challenges, but I know this 52 week challenge is one that I will do for sure. Let me take these ones out, just, you know, just put them over there. All right, 52 week challenge, boom. And then I also have this luxury challenge that I got from Brianna Life and Budgets. <laughs> I love this envelope, honestly. <laughs> but Brianna, the zipper <laughs> broke. <laughs> and it's like closed and I can't get in there. And the stickers are still <laughs> in here. <laughs> oh my God, like it's so broken. Even if I like stick my nail in there, like I just can't open it for the life of me. But this is still so cute and I just keep it in here because it's adorable. Um, but yeah, is that really it? I think so, yeah. So again, yes, we have invest, um, retirement, rollover, taxes, Etsy, my 52 week challenge, and then the luxury challenge. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yes. I will also go ahead and be switching out my um, wallet with another wallet. Let me see if there's anything in here that has money that I missed. Okay, there's nothing in there. I'm going to miss these cute binders. <laughs> they were so adorable. All right, that's done. And then this one's done too. All right, guys, well, these are my new binders. I had three, but I did go ahead and just switch them out to four. Um, yeah, look how pretty they are. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you got here this far, go ahead and leave a black heart comment. Um, yes, again, every envelope that you saw in here will be available in my Etsy shop. The planner dashboards, um, they are customizable, totally customizable. Um, you can go ahead and customize them however you want and things like that. So, yeah, thanks you guys. Oh, thanks you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my video and have a great holiday or great Thanksgiving. Oh my God. Have a great Thanksgiving guys. <laughs>